friends, family, and loved ones, we come together today in the sight of the divine and of you as witnesses to join Candace and Brad in marriage. We gather around them now in this wonderful place and we look on with love and hope these two begin their new life as one. From racetracks to wedding venues only took you, what, about seven years, Brad? <laughs> oh, if you moved as fast as you were on the track, this would have been about five years ago, but we're here today. She is my best friend. She is my sister. And I know she has found the truest kind of love with you. And as you begin your new journey together, I wish you both the most fun-filled life, a life where you grow to love each other every day. Never stop exploring with Bubba. <laughs> and always find new exciting ways to keep the spark ignited. May you always remember to compromise, and by compromise I mean do what Candace wants when she wants it, when she needs it. <laughs> and apologize, laugh it off, and prioritize the needs of one another. You've made it this far, and I have no doubt you, were, you two were meant to be together. I can't wait to celebrate with you guys tonight. Lord knows he needs a drink. From watching the hockey games to watching him win races, he's always he's always been my hero, and he gets mad at me just a couple times. <laughs> and I started crying like, brother, you don't understand. I fucking love you. From the moment Candace was born, she's always been my pretty baby. She's always made me very proud to call her my daughter. I've seen her accomplishments from school, the basketball court, and even, 
as she set her mind to do whatever she set it to do, she's always come through. She has brought Brad, or B, as she likes to call him, into our family. Penny and I have watched her and Brad's relationship grow through the years, and I'm very proud to welcome him into our family. <laughs> 